Police Department for the City of Santa Rosa, California, is pleased to cooperate with the Department of Developmental Services of the State of California in producing this video. Entirely too many persons with developmental disabilities have been killed or seriously injured by motor vehicles while walking in crosswalks. Hopefully, this training tape will help to reduce the appalling increase in pedestrian injuries and deaths in this segment of our population. If the instructions given by officers in this film are followed, we look forward to a substantial reduction in pedestrian accidents involving persons with developmental disabilities. Okay, one thing you guys want to remember when you're crossing the street in a crosswalk yeah, yeah. is that crosswalk there, it's not a safety zone. And what I mean by that, girls, is that when you enter that crosswalk, that's just like a controlled area for people to cross the street. But not all the cars are going to stop for you, so it's real important that even though you're in a crosswalk, you still have to look for cars and make sure that they're slowing and stopping for you, okay? Because those little yellow lines aren't going to protect you from a car hitting you, okay? So you got to remember that. It's not a safety zone. When you guys also are in the crosswalk, you want to make sure of a couple of things. When you're crossing a roadway that has more than one or two lanes, uh -huh. okay? Sometimes when cars are coming and say you have two lanes side by side, you want to make sure that you cross one lane at a time and you want to make sure that the cars stop because what happens a lot of times is one car will stop and then after that car stops the ones in the lanes next to it don't see you or they think that person's turning or something and they drive by and a lot of times people get hit by cars that don't stop next to other cars huh? so whenever you're crossing the street and there's a lot of lanes in each direction you want to go lane by lane and you want to make sure that each car stops independently or by themselves. So if one car stops, you cross that lane, and then you look at the next lane and make sure that the car in that lane stops and they don't just drive past. Okay. Okay, so you guys want to remember that because that's very important. Okay. Uh, another feature that we want to go over or talk about when you guys are crossing the crosswalk. When you come up to the crosswalk and you're standing there before you enter the street and a car comes up and stops for you guys, it's very important that you look at that driver and make sure that they're not just slowing down to turn or that they see you. So what I want you to do is when you come up to a crosswalk and you're on the sidewalk and you stop, you want to look at that driver that's stopping the car and look at them and make sure you guys have eye contact. It's real important that your eyes focus on their eyes, okay? And you look right at them and every now and then people will wave you, wave you by or they'll give you a nod and that just lets you guys know that they saw you and it's safe to pass now. You know, they'll wave their hands, or, exactly, or they'll just kind of nod and look at you and smile, and that way you know that you can cross the street safely. Uh -huh. but until you do that, you don't step out into the street, okay? Okay. okay? okay. The safest way to cross the street is when you are in a crosswalk, you don't want to run, right. okay? You walk across the crosswalk, you look lane by lane, uh -huh. you look at all the cars, because sometimes what happens, if you're standing on the sidewalk and you're walking up to the crosswalk, and then you just decide to run across the street, a person in a car can't react that fast. So you want to stop on the sidewalk and hesitate for a little bit and then walk across. You don't just want to be running or walking down the sidewalk and then run out into the crosswalk. Because that person in that car, if they're close to the crosswalk there, they can't stop fast enough, okay? So we want to always walk through the crosswalk, never run. Okay, good. Another kind of hazard at crosswalks that you guys want to be aware of is when you're standing on the corner and you're going to cross the crosswalk and a car comes up on the street that's right by the crosswalk and they want to make a right-handed turn. Uh -huh. yeah. A lot of times what happens, if the light is red and the person wants to make a right-handed turn, they're looking at traffic to their left. Okay, They're not looking at you standing on the corner to the right side of their vehicle. And what they do is they look to the traffic to their left and they make that right turn and they don't see you stepping off the corner and a lot of times people get hit. Huh. So what you want to do is if you have a red light uh -huh. and it says walk and you start to walk and that car is facing a red light, you want to make sure that they see you and then we go back to eye contact. You make eye contact with that person in the car uh -huh. and that way they can tell you to cross the street safely. Okay. okay. If they're looking to their left and all you see is the back of their head, then you don't want to start across the street until you see their face and make eye contact. Okay. okay. Good. Whenever you're at an intersection, see this intersection out here, Julie and Martha? It doesn't have traffic lights or signals. Now, when you cross the street 
at an intersection that has traffic lights or yeah. signals, there's the walk, don't walk signs, you know uh -huh. those, it's either, it either says walk in green, uh -huh. or it says don't walk in red. Right. The other type of sign they have is they have a picture of a person walking, uh -huh. right, oh, and they're in writing. green, yeah. or have you seen, what's the other one, do you remember what the other one is? Writing. Don't. What's the other sign that says? Don't walk. Well, what's the other one? Where the person walks, it's a red hand, right? Don't Just like go. this. Don't and that means don't, don't go. Don't go. Okay, so whenever you're at an intersection and they uh -huh. have those signs, uh -huh. you want to make sure that you obey them. Yeah. Because the reason for that is, is when it's green and it says walk, uh -huh. that means that there's a green light for cars the same direction you're walking. Uh -huh. When it's red, that means that cars are going across the crosswalk and you walk right out in front of them and they have a green light. So you want to make sure that you obey the walk and don't walk signs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And remember, there either says walk or don't walk, or there's a picture of a hand or a person walking. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. okay. When you're crossing the street, after you stopped at the corner, and you've made sure it's clear, mm -hmm. and you want to walk across the street, yeah. then you need to walk within the crosswalk. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. You don't want to walk out of the crosswalk. You don't want to start cutting the corner there. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you walk within the crosswalk. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So whenever you cross the street and you have the light that says go ahead and walk or there's no cars coming, you want to stay within the crosswalk. Okay. okay? If I was walking across the street at night, what color clothing do you guys think I should wear? Mm -hmm. What would be smart? Would, would I want to wear black clothes at night? No, I wouldn't want to wear... Or when you're at work. Wouldn't want to wear black clothes, huh? I'd want to wear something bright. So if you're walking at night and you're crossing the street or you're just walking along the yeah. street, you want to wear clothes that are bright. Or have a, a better idea is to have a flashlight with you. Yeah. And wear and carry that flashlight with the flashlight on. That way you have a light and people can see you walking down the street. Yeah. And in the daytime it's also good to wear bright clothes. Like on a day like today where it's foggy out uh -huh. kinda or dark. You don't want to wear gray clothes around, right? Because then you kind of blend in with the sky and the street. So you always want to wear bright clothes. That's a good idea to wear bright clothes when you're walking. Okay? And especially at night, bright clothes and a flashlight. Okay. Another thing when you're in the crosswalk, girls, that you want to be, be aware of is that you don't want to insist on the right of way. What I mean by that is, is if you're in the crosswalk and it says walk say there's a sign like we talked about earlier and it says walk yeah. you don't and a car's coming and you don't think that car's going to stop you don't want to walk out in front of that car because it says walk okay because if you get hit by a car no matter how right you are you're not going to you're not going to win the car's going to hurt you very badly okay, okay. so you want to make sure that if a car's coming he's not going to stop even though you're in that crosswalk first you get back out of the way mm -hmm. and don't insist that you're in the right we have assisted in making this video because in the city of Santa Rosa during the last several years, we've had a substantial increase in the number of injuries and deaths by developmentally disabled people who were following the rules and were in the crosswalk, but nonetheless were injured or killed. Santa Rosa is not unlike any other city in this country where the increase in traffic and the anxiety on the part of drivers is encouraging them to occasionally violate the rules and make it unsafe for those in crosswalks. If you follow the guidelines and direction of this video, we hope that it will reduce the opportunity for these events to occur and assist you in avoiding this kind of thing in the future.